Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create silo pages in WordPress. So if you do not know what are silo pages, silo pages are basically kind of a structure that makes, you know, ranking on Google and other search engine very easy for new websites and blogs. So this is how you create silo page in WordPress using there are so many plugins so I'm going to use one of them. So here you can see this is a parent page which you have here and then I have few child pages within that parent template. Okay so you can see it here and this is how it's being displayed on the parent page this is how the children pages are being displayed on the parent page so this is parent page content you can write this way you can write something in between the children pages uh, kind of this is excerpt and within this teaser this is this is basically a teaser and then within this teaser you have a child page heading it's a thumbnail this is completely optional you can leave it and then you got some excerpt here and a link to this children uh, sorry child page so if I click on it this will take me to the child page and you'll see the URL will be like this so parent page and then the child page and then you can go back so obviously it's going to go and this is another child page which is going to go under this parent page so this is how you can create silo pages on WordPress remember this is a page not post okay so post is some completely different story this is actual silo structure and uh, if you go ahead and click on these uh, this is completely different thing okay this is a blog and if you create a category and then keep posting within those categories that's not going to rank like these standard silo structures now let me quickly go ahead and show you how I have achieved this using plugin so I'm using this CC child pages there are so many plugins that you can use to create such structure page parent and children pages structure now this is a very simple one so now once you have activated it okay you can go ahead and go to pages and you can see I've created a parent page and let me show you how you can create a parent page and a children page sorry many children pages within that so you simply go first look have a look at this one so I think this is going to work now you can see this is very simple so on this parent page you have this a short code a short code not cut short code that is provided by th this plugin that I have used basically activated installed and activated so this is CC child pages this lets you customize the look and feel of the children pages under this parent page so in this short code you can say child pages id 17 and this is going to be column 1 so this is this should have been like children pages not child pages this is id of this parent you can see it here parent page and then so they have different layouts let's have a look here uh, in this case I have taken this just one layout so you can have multiple layouts they're given this four layouts basically one column two column three 
three column, four column. So this is one column. This is two column layout. This is three, four, three column layout. And then they have four column layout. So I've gone ahead and, and then, then you have skin, red, green, blue. So these are, these are customizable. And you can go ahead and use whichever layout you think is going to be good for your website. Now, so thumbs large, you can have medium and small. More, you can give your custom click button. So let's see what I'm talking about now. Oops. Okay, here. Yeah. view so I'm talking about this button so you can write whatever you want to write and that will be displayed displayed as a button on each chart page now uh, this has to be like just once on each parent page you will have to uh, customize your short code for the kind of display layout you want to have on each pages so this is how you basically create your silo pages and once you have silo pages you can go ahead and publish them it's very simple and when you create a children page a child page what you do let me quickly have a look at here so when you create a child page you simply go ahead and create a regular page and what you do under page attribute you simply so this is layout basically uh, given this so any page title that you have will be displayed under here page parent page so I'm going to select this parent page which is coincidentally the name of the parent page so and then you can give it an order if you'd like uh, otherwise it will be displayed in I think ascending or descending something like that uh, it will depend on the theme that you're using right so however that is completely customizable you can customizable you can go ahead and give it an order and that will be followed by this parent page template now so this is how you create a child page let me have a look at on the other child page and it's the same thing so you simply create a new page and the only thing you have to do go under page attributes and select that particular parent page so it could be like sample page parent page or any other page in your case this is just for example I've given it a name of parent page I'll quickly show you and then I've given this the order which is which is going to be one so this is how you create children pages of parent pages and using this wonderful plugin CC child pages and there are many plugins that you can use okay whatever suits your uh, theme you can go ahead and pick one plugin and they will have similar features so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below remember there is something uh, beyond creating this uh, silo pages what you can do you can create internal links so that's a completely different thing I'll cover that in a different post thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel bye for now